Let's talk about the MPFL now. Rescheduled game between MFM and Rivers United. Walk with us now. Customers, mm. MFM, Rivers United. That one should give us some flowers because... MFM, they are on good form. Yep. Rivers United need to redeem the image mm -hmm. of the club, mm -hmm. win back their fans, and there's also shooting stars and Enugu Rangers. Rangers. Wow. Two massive games. First one, MFM Rivers United, and the fixture last season, um, and it was even played on a Wednesday as well. In the fixture last season, MFM actually won Rivers United, and that was their first loss in the Nigeria Professional Football League last season. Mm -hmm. So um, Rivers United need to start winning. But then winning at the, um, where a lot of people are now calling Temple of Football at the mm. Agege Stadium mm. is something that um, is really going to be difficult. MFM needs to win to go on top of the table. They've got goal scorers that are firing. I mm. mean, Steven Day, IS goal scorer with 10 goals. Sikiru right. or Latubosu, you know, can score mm. goals from mm. anywhere. It's something that is really, really going to be a very interesting one. End to end stuff. Trust me, I'm going to be at the stadium because it's going to be massive. Now, second game, shooting stars against Rangers. Rangers are 19th down, down the pecking order mm. when it comes to the Nigeria Professional Football League log this season. Rangers need to start winning. But then, playing against shooting stars who are playing at home and not particularly doing well, it's a very difficult one to go be shooting stars in the battle. So, that's something that is really going to be difficult to call out. If you ask me, I think that first game, I that's think MFM empty. will probably win very slimly in the second game. Well, if you're going to ask me, I think I'm going to sit on the fence and say maybe a draw. Because shooting stars lately, they've been generating, uh, giving Some out points. Some of the goals. You know, you know mm. giving out points freely. Mm. Uh, but let's see pictures from the last game. MFM uh, beating Plateau United by two goals to one. Yes. Let's talk about how easy these guys are moving the ball. At this moment, this guy is in a world of his own. Yeah. Having the best form of his career. Exactly. And he's staying focused and doing all the good things for his, for his team. And, of course, this man also giving us good moments. MFM, if they approach the game the way they did against Plateau United, you think mm. they're going to have it easy against Rivers United? Certainly. I mean, before the game, before this game, I think a, 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 a game before this, the one they played against Ayimba at the UJ Strainers, Stadium, you need to see the mm. way they were very comfortable. Did you see that goal by Stephen Uday? He didn't, he was actually back in the post, but then it just turned a complete striker goal, technically efficient, and it scored a goal. And you know, in the game against uh, 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 um, Plato United, I know we felt that it's going to be fireworks. I mean, two sides. you only see. May he so rest in peace. Rashidi Yakini do this in front of a penalty exactly. spot, and then this young man. Beaming with so much confidence, staying mm. focused, playing good football, giving this guy reasons to give us signs we don't understand. <laughs> MFM at the moment doing and playing good football. <laughs> Certainly, they are playing good football. MFM play really, really well. I mean, so come on, look at look at this goal. Mm. This is a this is a kind of goal. This is a very good, good advertisement from another good player. Yeah. Up to us. That, that's what mm. I'm saying. This is good advertisement for uh, uh, Nigeria Professional Football League. So let's see what we happen against Rivers United. Rivers United, right now they are down and they know that they need to win. Mm. It's really going to be a very difficult one for them. It is not easy to win right here at the Agege Stadium, which is, of course, as I said, the temple of football. Mm. You can win there. It's, it's very, very difficult. I, mm. I did not say you cannot win. Mm. Okay, That's let me difficult. take that back. It's difficult mm. to win. No, I mean, um, MFM have won pretty much most of their matches there. And against the Rivers United side, wow. I know Sammy is listening. I know. Is watching. Not just Sammy. Not just Sammy. <laughs> uh, Cosmos is a typical Lagos football fan. I'm an MFM uh, fan. Let's us, let, us, let us hear from fans of Rivers United. You think your team can bounce back against MFM? Remember, it's at the Agege uh, Township Stadium. Mm. Let's see if Rivers United can do uh, the unthinkable. Bounce back and then, you know, give their fans something to cheer about. So, you know where to be. 4 p.m. Uh, Nigerian time, Agege Stadium, MFM. We will be taking on Rivers United in a rescheduled Nigeria Professional Football mm -hmm. League match. And there's also shooting stars taking on, um, also playing in that one. Rangers is in the yeah. Rangers. So you see, the teams that have been busy on the continent, they are back home now. They need to also play some football. Let's talk about uh, the lower tie. We talk about the NNL, the Nigeria National League. Very, very important because if it's good at that level, we can take that development 
to the MPFL. And we have already uh, kicked off proceedings in the NNL this season, and we saw some beautiful results. We also recorded away victories. Ah, you know the story. Zanfra United defeated Kogi United, and the management told the coach, you can go. We'll just run through uh, some fixtures in the NNL. Uh, that's it right there. Ruby fixtures, Worry Wolves. Yes, Worry Wolves didn't do so well last season, and they have dropped to the second tier. Uh, of the league, which is the NNL. They'll be taking on Gateway. Go round. We'll take on uh, Inewi United. Hackland also dropped last season. So they're playing the NNL now. They'll take on First Bank. Ikurudu United also dropped. They'll be take on, they will take on Delta Force. Still on Group B fixtures. My People FC will take on Crown FC. Uh, Oshu United will take on Bendel Insurance. Papilo FC. Um, Remember, the name owned by Wankwa Kano, Kano. Owned by Wankwa Kano mm -hmm. and he's giving his team all the support that they can get. They will take on Bielsa United and his Unisem Rovers taking on AS for Sane. Group B fixtures are their comments. We will take on Aqua Starlets. Aqua Starlets, let's see what they can do. They play the one all draw uh, with Unisem uh, Rovers in their first game of the season. Talking about ways we can develop uh, the sport, uh, the football at the NNL level. Uh, Kanu Wankwa, being there, done that for football in Nigeria. He's commending uh, the Nigerian National League on his drive to make the second time football competitive. Let's listen to him. We'll come back. We'll talk some more. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Knowing that the state is not being behind us, it's supposed to be the state being behind us of what we have done. We won the Federation, uh, uh, we won the FA Cup in, uh, in the state, represented the state, without the state even coming out to support us. Uh, here now we are in the Pro League, without the state even coming to support us. But all the same, that doesn't weigh us down. The most important thing is that Kano is doing the right thing, and the grassroots, that's what we are doing, trying to help the young ones, give them a platform a platform where they will start, and that's what I'm doing. So who knows, after this we might start winning games, and then before you know it, we're in the Premier League. It's been quite a challenge, you know, we started off, Racine was started in 1997, we played from the State League through the Amateur League, and then into the Pro League. Um, I think the last time we were in the Pro League was 2007, and then we got demoted again, and we've been playing since, and we're back to the Pro League again. Um, it's quite challenging, you know, um, there are quite a few problems, uh, especially with generating um, crowds to come in, the lack of um, desire of the crowds to want to pay gate fees, things like that. But um, all in all, there's still a lot of satisfaction because um, our club is more or less a grassroots club. AS Racine means Racine in, Racine in, in, in French means roots. And what we do is we take the younger boys, we give them an opportunity to play in an organized setting for the first time.